What's up expats and travelers alike? I'm Josh with Expats Everywhere. And I'm Kaylee. And we're a family of three. There's our daughter Valencia. We have a small dog. And we're gonna talk about the cost of living here in Portugal per month. Let's get started. All right, let's get things started with paying our most expensive fixed line item of the month, which is rent. Rent is 700 euros per month for our T1 plus one with one bathroom apartment. Next is our health insurance, which we pay 204.27 for the three of us. And we have a monthly membership for the three of us as well at the best gym, what we think is the best gym in Porto, and that is 99 euros a month. This month, Sia and I came to the zoo and we got the annual pass. For an adult, it's 45 euros. And since Sia is under three, it was free. You can get all different types of tickets for kids, adults, and there are even promos for families. At the zoo, we had lunch for 9.50 and I bought Sia a bubble gun toy for five euros. We took an Uber to the zoo for 12.80 and a bolt back home for 10.08. I always price check those to see which one is cheaper. Uber cheaper there, bolt cheaper back. Kaylee also topped up our Vodafone SIM cards to the tune of 8.50 euros each, and that will last us around two weeks. Okay, so February 2nd, just popped into the store. A couple items, I'll show you guys that right here. 25.51. That evening, we met up with another couple and went to Brasao Aliados for dinner. Food and drinks for us and Valencia was 53 euro plus a few euros for tip. All right, so Sia and I are going to step in and get her first haircut and my first haircut in over a month. So we can't wait to do that. Let's see how it turns out. Let's go. All right, not going to lie, we did have to bribe Sia, but we got haircuts. My haircut was 10 euros. They actually did Sia's for free, so I left a 5 euro tip. So 15 euros, two haircuts, not bad. On February 3rd, we went to a special event hosted by Wei Ling of Come Eat Dinner. It was a special Chinese New Year supper club at her house. That was 32 euros per person for a total of 64 euros. Wei Ling didn't charge us for Sia, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, she does eat a lot though, so that's kind of crazy. <laughs> but 32 would be a lot. <laughs> that's right. Also on February 3rd, we got hit with the 832 uh, bank maintenance fees for Millennium. It happens every month, it drives me crazy. So if you think about it, that's around 100 euros per year for our Millennium bank account. Yeah, for that maintenance. On February 4th, we treated a friend to lunch at one of our favorite restaurants, Duas de Letra, which was 25.70. And Kaylee went out with some of her girls for drinks at Big Bad Bank. And she also had a brownie there, so the total was 34 euros. How was that brownie, by the way? Uh, a bit underwhelming. I think yeah. it's really hard to find a good fudgy brownie anywhere, really in Portugal, but a lot of places do cakey brownies. I like fudgy. I like fudgy too. All right, so the next day I had to pop in to Pingo Dos for a few items, and that was $8.90. February 6th, a friend wanted to take us to dinner. We said no to that, and she didn't have to pay or anything, but she said, okay, I'll pay for the food, you guys pay for the drinks. We said, all right, deal. So the drinks were 20 euro at Guaca. Yep, and February 7th, Kaylee noticed something was wrong with her phone, uh, and it seemed that she was using too much data, so she needed to top up again for 850. Now, this occasionally happens, but it's rare, okay? Turns out that she reloaded it earlier than normal, thinking that she was out of data, but it was just Vodafone having issues. So it was just early. Today, while I'm out and about, I just use my Millennium app to transfer tithe for Calvary Chapel. On the 8th, we went by our favorite coffee spot, So Coffee Roasters, and both got lattes, which was six euros, and then we had a large grocery run for 95.75. And the next day was pretty low budget, 84 cents for a croissant for Sia, while we were out on a walk, and that girl, she loves her pastries. She does, but that was a very cheap day. It was. <laughs> February 10th, we had to pick up wipes for Sia because we forgot to get them with our big grocery run, so that was just 149. And then we had something really odd happen. We went to a restaurant to meet up with someone. We ordered two beers while we waited and then the person we were meeting just didn't show up. It was about 30 or 40 minutes later and we said, okay, we need to go ahead and order food because Sia was going a little bonkers at this time. So we called the server over, kind of explained and said, okay, well, we just need to order some food. And he was like, well, let me finish eating my food. And then he went back into the restaurant, sat down and was eating his food. So we were like, wait, what? And so we yeah. couldn't just sit there any longer because of Sia. So it was just a very weird situation. 
Yeah, so we didn't have exact change, so we were just going to drop the, the cash and go. So what I had to do was I had to go around the corner to a bakery that, that we do like. I went in there, broke a 20, um, so that pastry that I bought was 85 cents, and then we paid for the two beers, so that was 360. And then we went to Santa Catarina to a little spot called the Grill Place where we had dinner. And the dinner was 28.45 in total, including uh, you know a few coins for tip. February 11th, we were with some friends, and the last time we ate with them, they picked up the bill, so this time we said it was our turn. And we were at their place, so we ordered pizza on Uber Eats, and that was 38.04. Yeah, it's expensive pizza. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the next day, Kaylee topped up her Metro card for 12.50, and that is for 10 rides. And she and Valencia ride the Metro a little more than me, so uh, Sia can get out and play with her friends. Now, Sia, of course, is free, and we're gonna put a link in the description section so you guys can check out how to ride the Portro Metro. Josh and Sia had a coffee and pastry while they were out, so that was 350, and we got some cheese for a meetup that we were going to from Quinta de Tapada, which is one of our favorite places. Three wheels of cheese was 14 euros. Yep, and on the 13th, we met up with Leo from Portuguese with Leo, as he was in town shooting some videos, and we had lunch at Central dos Pregos, and that's at the food corner. We will put a link for that in the description below. Uh, so three of us had a meal there that was 2510 and we got charged as well for one of our US online media subscriptions that day. That was 1057. February 14th, Kaylee met a friend out to let the kids play and then she grabbed a Starbucks for 360 and then we had another quick grocery run for 33.52. February 15th is where things got a little interesting with our dog Pincho, but before explaining that, we had to get a few things that day and we went into the continent for 1546 and then a health food store that we like to go to called Celero, which is 3108 from there. Okay, so Pincho, we took him to get groomed and that was 36 euro. Later the next day, we noticed that he was walking kind of funny and there was something on like the inside of his leg. So we took a quicker look at it and something was wrong. Um, poor, poor guy. But we took him immediately to the vet and that was 75.10 for them to do the consultation, for them to give us all sorts of medications to figure it out. Because apparently there was a little bit of a dog scuffle like the week earlier with Josh and he actually got bit and we didn't know because he was acting normally. But then- And he was maybe, so hairy. Yeah, and he was really hairy. But then when he got groomed, we could see it and it might've just irritated it a little bit. Um, but anyway, so the vet, not very bad for everything that we got and they did, and now he's good. Yeah, now he's just an 11 year old that's grumpy. Yeah. Also on the 16th, Kaylee topped up my phone for 850 and uh, she didn't need the top of her phone because she had already reloaded it earlier in the month. February 17th in the morning, we met up with a few friends for coffee and pastries at Mesa 325, uh, and that was nine euros. And then later that day, we had a bigger meetup at Nortada Brewery. Now, a friend of ours, uh, along with the staff, initially thought that his card worked to pay his portion of the tab. Uh, but as everyone was closing out the tabs, we noticed that that payment didn't come off the bill and he was long gone. So our portion plus picking up some of his costs was 71.27. Now, usually for the three of us, we can go into Nortada and have a few beers and three main courses for around 40 euros. On February 18th, we were due for another big grocery run, and this time I ordered groceries online, and that was 1.15.34. Yep, and the next day, Kaylee was tired of trying to clean Sia's portable tub, so she found a new tub on Amazon Germany for 31.87. That's much better. February 21st, Josh grabbed a coffee and pastry for 3.50 and picked up some more dog food for Pincho at the Mini Presso, which was 7.99. Sia also needed swim diapers since she's now doing swimming lessons at the gym we go to, and that was 14 euros for 24 swim diapers. So to round out this day's errands and spending, I went to Sew to buy a bag of coffee, and that coffee was 12.50, so kind of an expensive day. Then on February 22nd, we had dinner with two friends at a local place near them in Bonfim. We split that bill and that was 32.10. On February 23rd, we had to get a few missing grocery items, so that was 22.78. And Kaylee and Sia went to a cafe and spent 2.20. The cafe's a lot, coffee and pastries. Yeah, at least it's not expensive. <laughs> Okay, so on February 25th, uh, I was in pretty bad need of some shoes, so I went to Alameda Shopping Mall and found an inexpensive pair of Nike shoes and also a pack of socks, and that was $64.98. And on that same day, I took Sia to a different mall with some friends and their kids so that they could play, but then I spent 40 euro shopping with Sia. I grabbed some Taco Bell there because it's kind of a guilty pleasure and I don't get it too often and it was only 4.45. And then also of course coffee and pastries with Sia and that was 4.50. And 
and I grabbed a few more things at the grocery store for $18.69. All right, so Kaylee and I just popped into Pingo Dos. We spent a little under 20 euros. We're heading to a friend's house. Uh, it's actually a family that we're really good friends with, and it's like a housewarming. So we picked up a few bottles of wine and some olives, and people are gonna bring some other things. Let's go have some fun. We're not very efficient when it comes to going to the grocery store <laughs> no. at all. Uh. Okay, so that evening in preparation for our trip to Prudence to see the kind of all the Prudence, we have a link for that in the description section for you all to check out. We ordered Valencia a new car seat that would fit her growing body. <laughs> and that was also from Amazon Germany and it was 6278. Mm -hmm. It was long needed. On February 27th, we were back at it, spending 19.14 on Uber Eats dinner, and then another 12.50 to top up my Metro card again, because I'm on the move a lot. <laughs> okay, so rounding out the spending at the end of the month were our utilities. So 15.24 for the water bill and 55.85 for the electricity bill, as well as 229.50 for Tide, which is split among different uh, charities, churches, and organizations. So if you didn't have your calculator out as you were following along with all of this breaking down, we're gonna break down now the total spend and also give you the grand total for the whole month. Okay, so we named a bunch of different places that we went to and you can actually find these on the Steps app. So we've created a map on Steps app for expats everywhere places that we recommend here in Porto. We are going to start to build out maps for different cities that we visit. The next up will be Lisbon, where we create different spots that we recommend, and you guys can check that out. We'll also put links to the videos that uh, those spots appear in our videos within the Steps app. So you will be able to check out the location kind of live, uh, or at least in video format, if we've been there. Okay, rent was 700. Utilities were 105.09. Health insurance was 204.27. Gym membership, 99. Groceries were 390.51. Entertainment was 64. Clothing 104.98. Food out was 409.85. Transportation 47.88. Drinks out were 67.20. Pincho was 113.10. Tithing was 314.50. And then mine and Sia's haircut 15. And then other miscellaneous was 111.54. Now Josh and I did a video like this one year ago in 2021, so we're going to compare this year, 2022, to 2021 to see where we went over and spent more, where we saved, and then inflation. So if you wanna check out that video, then check this right here, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get moving.